I know, best carving you've ever seen. Please don't drag me. Uh, actually, I understand if you do. You drag me, it's fine. <laughs> was my pumpkin was that the best pumpkin you've ever seen every year guys every year I'm like I can't wait to do my pumpkin I leave it to the last minute and then I have my fucking kitchen knives and I'm in there fucking hacking it up if you guys don't know I broke my finger last year was it last year or this year from running into a door and I've nearly broken my other finger from uh, using a knife I am not a very accurate <laughs> crafter I'm very much like a throw everything together last minute. I'm not a planner in that respect. I'm a planner with other stuff, but not with arts and crafts. It's kind of like smoosh it all together and that will do. <laughs> and oh my God, I just butchered it. And I butcher it every time. And you guys give me some really good tips, but every time it goes to actually carve it, I forget. And last year I actually got a set of carving tools, but I don't know where they went. But this is the finished product. I know, best carving you've ever seen. Please don't drag me. Uh, actually, I understand if you do. Drag me, it's fine. <laughs> Guys, hi. I just watched Jackals from 2017, which is an American movie about a family that are trying to deprogram their son after he has been brainwashed by a cult. I believe this is one of the last movies I picked for the month just because it was sitting below the five score and... Just so you guys know, that's how I did it. I averaged everything out and then picked above. <laughs> you gotta pick somehow. There was 300 choices. Um, and yeah, just went from things that sounded interesting and obviously that I hadn't seen. Um, and that blurb sounds amazing, right? In theory, yes. I did hear a lot of people talking about how bad this movie was before I saw it. And then some people saying it was quite like intense, so I was... I was interested. The movie starts off as a POV shot of an intruder in a house, and I was like, geez, intruders again, you know, I can't get rid of them. I put them three in a row. But the film obviously takes a turn quite fast where it focuses on a family and their drama with their son who has been taken by this cult. And then from that great story about an intervention, um, which I fucking love interventions. <laughs> And I love cold, so it's gonna happen to me. I can't wait. When it does happen, guys, I promise I'll film it. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, you obviously didn't watch my Does This Offend You stream about cults with Nightmare Maven because I went off. But I digress. This movie could have been amazing. I thought it would have been really cool if the cult was like real. You know, like if everything they, they thought was like actually happening, but no, it's just kind of like a blood fest and um, it peaks way too early and way too quickly and you just give up hope. Um, another thing that I felt was really weird was the dialogue and the way it was delivered. Um, once again, I'm not sure if it was the dialogue or the editing or the acting. It was a situation where, you know, someone's dying and the guy's repeating his name over and over and violins are literally playing like this, you know, and it's just too much, you know, like, you know, I'm just going to say a name. I don't want to give away the name, but you know, like Dean, 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 and the violins start playing. It's too much. 
Um, it's too forced and it was a downfall. They spent a lot of time setting up the characters for everything to kind of crash really early and I felt like that was definitely the biggest downfall. The funny thing about this movie is it is based on a true story apparently so I definitely have to look into that. I tried to have a little peek at it but I couldn't figure it out. But the director, Kevin Gru... I'm not gonna say his last name because <laughs> I butcher everything. I think his work is very impressive and very interesting. First off, he was the editor for The Strangers. He was in the editorial department for Titanic. Um, he was the editor for Jezebel, not really a fan. He was the director for Saw 6, Saw 3D, the final chapter. Um, I just think he has like a really interesting back catalogue. So that was interesting. Um, always when a film is a little bit strange. I'm like, well, who did this? Why? Uh, this is a film I wouldn't mind being redone though. This is the kind of films, I know it was just done last year, but these are the kind of films that need to be redone because they have amazing stories and since this is based on a true life story, you probably could refresh that, you know? Um, just love the whole cult, love the intervention and I mean there has been horror movies that have interventions before uh, but this one I loved. Well, the idea that was. But the movie itself definitely fell very short of my expectations. And for that, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. That is how I feel about jackals. That is how I feel about my jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Two fails today, guys. Um, how are you guys doing? How was your pumpkin? Actually, I really would love to see your pumpkin. So if you want to, you know, tweet them to me or something like that, I'd love to see that. Uh, my Twitter's down below, by the way. Uh, but that is today. Two more days, guys. We have Seventh Moon and Insectula. Thank you guys so much for being here. Two more days. Can you tell I'm like, I'm dying a little bit. Um, but I'm so grateful for all of you guys and all of your lovely comments on yesterday's video. I'm glad you guys like the pups. And um, I hope that at least my pumpkin carving skills were interesting. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay spooky. Bye.